Meg eats dust as William with Sophie Overshadow has his Warrior Games appearance in Rhino Man's screening, elegant. Recently, Prince William attends documentary screening on close calls with surprise royal guest, his Aunt Sophie. While applauding the heir to the throne and his aunt, royal supporters couldn't help but show their joy, which makes Meghan Markle lie in a pool of envy and tears. William and Sophie both walk with some boss energy. Hello, it is the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Edinburgh. Wahoo! Wow! What a delightful picture of Prince William and his auntie, Sophie Duchess of Edinburgh. My goodness, Sophie looks amazing. Can you even handle this Duchess glow? Stunning. I'm sure after this we will see more of Sophie in Africa. In particular, Prince William teamed up with his Aunt Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh to highlight an important cause. On Tuesday evening, the Prince of Wales attended the Royal Foundation screening of Rhino Man hosted by United for Wildlife at Battersea Power Station. The documentary depicts the training of wildlife rangers and covers the dangers that they face. And Prince William, who turns 41 this month, brought along a surprise guest, his Aunt Sophie. Kensington Palace said Prince Edward's wife, who herself has a strong interest in wildlife protection, was delighted to join the Prince of Wales at the event this evening to show her support for United for Wildlife. The film features Anton Mzimba, a South African ranger who was murdered by wildlife traffickers in July 2022. Prince William, who connected with Mzimba months before his death, met his sister ahead of watching the film. Prince William said at the event, The murder of Anton Mzimba is a stark reminder of the daily dangers that all rangers face around the world protecting the natural world from the international criminal organizations that seek to profit illegally from wildlife, and I'm proud to see his life and legacy recognized in Rhino Man. This is not a burden they can bear alone, he continued. An effective response to this vicious crime demands attention and collaboration across the entire chain of criminal activity, not just on the front line. That is why United for Wildlife, through its global financial and transport task forces, and wider alliance of partners, has taken action to ensure that those involved in wildlife crime will be met with an international response as powerful and coordinated as any other serious and organized crime. Sophie, 58 has continued with royal duties in recent weeks despite a tragic incident, the death of an 81-year-old woman who was hit by a police motorcycle escorting the Duchess of Edinburgh in London last month. Helen Holland was struck by the escort vehicle on May 10 and was left with multiple broken bones and massive internal injuries, which she later died from, her family confirmed to the BBC. Buckingham Palace said in a statement to people that Sophie is deeply saddened about the death. Her Royal Highness's deepest condolences and sympathies go to all of Ms. Holland's family, the message said. Meanwhile, almost royal fans criticized Prince Harry's latest appearance when he was pictured chatting to the general in charge of army training on Monday, sitting ringside to watch U.S. veterans competing at the Warrior Games. The 38-year-old traveled to San Diego for his first public appearance since his phone hacking trial in the U.K. The Duke of Sussex was seen grinning and chatting as he cheered on servicemen and women competing in events similar to his own Invictus Games. He was seen at one point gesturing across the arena as General Gary Brito, the commanding general of the Army Training and Doctrine Command, looked on. Later, he appeared at ease as he posed with seasoned gold medal winners from the U.S. Special Operations Command, SOCOM. Teams from the U.S. Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, and SOCOM have been participating in wheelchair basketball, wheelchair rugby, cycling, and golf competitions. Harry admits to being a huge rugby lover. Since his return from London, when he testified at the High Court in his phone hacking case against Mirror Group newspapers, Harry has not been seen in public. He returned to Montecito on Friday after being the first royal to testify in court in more than a century. In September, Harry's own Invictus Games, which he founded in 2014, are held in Dusseldorf. The event provides an opportunity for those who have suffered illness or injury during or as a result of their service to compete in sporting events against other nations. However, earlier this year, after Prince Harry's insensitive Taliban remarks in spare, 
the charity events organizers received advice to dissociate themselves from the royal. The Duke of Sussex's choice to disclose that he got rid of 25 men while fighting in Afghanistan, according to renowned publicist Lynn Franks, made him look a complete idiot. The armed forces community was outraged by Harry's comments, particularly that he treated Taliban fighters like chess pieces during operations, and accused him of terrible manners. Oh, Try a storm and it if it went Riding out of destiny in the day With the real light as more we can't all fear For the freedom she found so Shadow will reach you with them. With the money, we dimension with the breaking free. I'll the third in a chance on a freak in the time. I, I got more credit for a better. I, I was seven. Meg eats dust as William with Sophie Overshadow has his Warrior Games appearance in Rhino Man's screening. Elegant. Recently, Prince William attends documentary screening on close calls with surprise royal guest, his aunt Sophie. While applauding the heir to the throne and his aunt, royal supporters couldn't help but show their joy, which makes Meghan Markle lie in a pool of envy and tears. William and Sophie both walk with some boss energy. Hello, it is the Prince of Wales.